and which will occur on the date of of November 11th to the 13th of t this year in 2016. So, Marth Sheik, how do you how do you think this is going to go down? Well, if well if you know two well if you know two players, they do have quick abilities. Marth has the counter. Marth has his own counter. Sheik has her, has her own invisible. She has her own. She she has skills of her own. Yeah. And if you notice, I know Marth so well because I I've been playing with him uh, since uh, melee. Unfortunate SD right away. He only Spiff, got hit like once. Spiff taking the lead so far. Spiff with four lives. Makari with three. Yeah, I feel like Marth, a really good Marth player, usually won't let the sheep get in because he just outranges her with and also with a longer dash stance. But once she gets in. And Marth is like diagonally above her. There's not really much that he can do. That's true. Uh, so even so far, because of that F SD. But let's be honest. I hate to I hate to stab my good friend Marth in the back, but I think Sheik might as well pull it off. Um, I'm thinking that because of that SD, if Makari plays as if he didn't SD, he might actually win because you know he w he got off to a really good start um and these pro players who can play as Martha are so skilled yeah they're even skilled they're even skilled than I am do you play Martha? yeah oh nice um So what's your opinion on the Sheik's matchup? Do you think that she wins or loses? Or is it even? Well, to be honest, I can't, well, to be honest, I can't tell these are be because these two fighters are both skilled. Yeah, I, I think that Sheik really wins by a ton at the really low level. And as you get higher and higher, it slowly goes to even. But at this point, because we aren't at like Evo or anything, I feel like Sheik has a slight edge. Well, Mar well, Mark oh. may as well have the advantage of to use his counter assault. Nice wait. Nice combo by Sheik. Air kick combos, ground combos. Yeah. Phantom. Phantom. Oh no. Tomahawk down tilt didn't work. Nice, nice return from Marth. Uh, pummeling a lot, just trying to get the most guaranteed stuff he can. Nice dash smash. Closing it without her getting too high percent. Nice comeback from Marth. Spiv down to two lives. Makari down to two as well. But so far it's been all, but it's been all she gets since the get go. Oh. And as we notice, and as you notice on the bottom of your screen, Martha's down to 103 percent. And it might as well not be enough for him, but it could be enough oh. for Sheik as well. Oh, he's about to grab the ledge. Ah. But one so, way do you think he can do any? He might. Uh, well, sometimes I can't to, talk well. What are you gonna say? Well, sometimes you gotta have faith in the player. Sometimes you gotta have faith in the player to whom you play with at, as your favorite character in, in in games like this. Like, like whether you're playing Street Fighter or playing or playing or playing Mortal Kombat or any other uh, game. Phantom, you Phantom have to hit. Have if it tippered, it would have killed. But he takes a stock anyway. And so far, Martha's is taking the lead, but it has to. But will it be enough for Martha here tonight? <laughs> Martha camping near the ledge doesn't want to try any forward air shenanigans. And nice, nice wow. grab by Sheik. Oh, still gets the kill though, even though the fair missed. Something's got to give right now here tonight. Spiff is down to one life, and so is Makari. Needle in the wrong di direction accidentally. Uh, looks but like uh, but Makari has. But so far in this match, it could be enough for Marth. Yeah, Marth looks like he has a momentum advantage. Even more than, like, the percent. It'll be hard for Spiff to um, get a combo to kill, even it up or even kill him. Mar and Marth, Ooh, is down down Marth is pulling off a tremendous effort so far. Think about down tilt. If you get it and um, run away as fast as you can, the person can't grab you. Because the Eosta frame is that fast. That's true. Uh, but he got the frame trap with the double down tilt. Now it's a really close game. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh! A lot of spaghetti at the end. But, like I said, have faith in the characters you play with. Especially, okay, when, I'm especially when that player is playing that character as well. Oh, back to Battlefield. This is usually a... Oh. This is a really good stage for Sheik, so I'm wondering why Makari's picking it. Maybe he just thinks that Marth... Um, even though on other stages he has it, on this stage he can really get the F smash and the up tilt. But who, um, but who knows, Sheik might as well pull off a comeback as well. Through the platform, and... Um... He can make it a lot harder for Sheik to get back because on the platform he can just cover everything. After and the Sheik pulling up a good, Sheik pulling off a good fist. Okay. Um, Makari might be out of his first lap and and now he's down to three. Yeah. Gets the last needle hit. No one. And, and this is a and this is a two one. And this is a two for three battle. Makari's Makari one by one point. Spit is down to none. So quick question, for, quick question for you, Tap Jump. Do you yep. think that's do you think that's Biff? Might as well pull it off with Sheik in this battlefield. Um. Well, considering how close the game was, the first one, he might he may because battlefield. Oh, he probably will now. But you saw um. Makari won it even though he SD'd before, so there's still he's not out of the game yet. Understood. Nice three hit combo. Nice grab by Marth. Trying to call out the instant up B with the down air, but Spit uh, taking the lead by three lives. Marth Spit taking the lead by three lives. Makari going Makari, Makari down by two. Okay. It's really hard to get that fair at the end because if you run off, then you have to use your jump to get it. And if you just jump immediately, you can't dash. Oh. Spit might as well be Spit might as well pull off, pull off a good comeback from the previous battle. Uh one good hit from Sheik and it'll probably go into a grab and then That's a fact, but what about the 30% Marth has about this moment? Now he's up to 38. Um, okay. But yeah, Makari's been doing that a lot. Run off fast fall forward air. It can call out Sheik's de um, recovery because a lot of the time Sheik, Sheik players get lazy, myself included, and fall really low and then sweet spot with the up B. Oh. But that can really um, catch people off if you do that. Okay, 1-1 one, one now. Um, Alright, it's a tie game. Yeah. Okay. Spiff and Makari are tied up. Now they're fighting in now they're fighting in Yoshi's Island. Wait, is that what they call it? Um, Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Yoshi Story. Story. Yep. Yoshi's Island is the 64 one that's really big. Right. <laughs> nice Thundercats. Um yeah, this stage is really good for Marth because all of his moves uh, hit through the platform. And they're not too big wide length, so a lot of the swords can hit up and over through all of it. So what you're saying? So what you're saying is that when it comes to small stages like this, Marth might as well have the advantage. Um, in comparison to other stages, I'm not completely sure because a lot of the time in the heat of the battle and when everyone's choking a lot, um, it's mostly even. But in a perfect world, Marth would probably do better. Well, if I were them. Well, if I were them to, for them to think that they believe that this might as well be the advantage, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull their breath if I were them. Yeah, and um, another thing, Marth gets to really high percent and he can't kill a lot of the time unless he gets a down air or something like that really early. And with this, with the small blast zones both ways, he can get kills a lot earlier. Like that nair probably wouldn't have killed on other stages, but on this one, it did. Um, can you? Can you actually demonstrate a real good example since Marth, since Makari actually pulled off the pulled off the lead? Right now they're down to three lives. Marth up oh. to 19 and now to 27. Goes on so the far with none. Oh, that's real. That usually doesn't happen because Marth can jump out. Yep. But sometimes people don't pay attention and just think you aren't going to do it because it's not guaranteed. So and so let me so quick question how do. You, 
if you were stuck in a and then if you were stuck in an annoying grab combo like the way Sheik did earlier, how how would you get out? Um. Well, Martha doesn't have too much to do that, and I don't want to count. Encountering might work, but I don't want to do it too much because it gets pretty predictable. So uh, I think the best thing is just not to get hit. And it's easy to say that, but and a lot harder to do it. But sometimes you just can't really um, get that much hit. If you're at zero when you get grabbed, you're supposed to di in. But what, then, but what you're saying is, if you get grabbed at zero percentage, you, oh. might as well, you might as well have a good chance of getting out. Well, at zero percent, you can di in, and then mash the jump, and then all she can do to get another hit off is up tilt, and then she gets a good forward air and air off of that, and then if you uh, go to the ground and shield, she can't hit you again, but she can still grab you, so you gotta watch out for that and mix it up. Maybe buffer a roll. Nice. Uh... So far, really so far, Mercari is down on one life. He might as well have. He might as well need to pull off a good comeback in this bat in this battle so far here at the here at the Smash Melee Madness M Mass Madness Tournament. Okay, uh, nice back air, bad DI killed um, Spiff. Air sword combo, very nice. Try it. It's really good to use needles on this stage because with the diagonal uh, trajectory, it can hit Marth a lot, and you hit um hit the platform. Almost immediately, so you can usually get some pressure going off of that. Well, uh, well, close you, might as, well you might as well have a good point because when, once she uses her needles, I might as well pull up a good advantage. Hold on, really close game, game three. This is mo most games this early in the bracket aren't like really any hit might win. Okay. Yeah, true. Um, uh, flubs with the hitting the platform accidentally. Oh. oh! Oh! And game goes and to... And Spiff pulled off a good win. Nice comeback. He went. He started out 0-0. He 